Hello, today let's draw a six-point center circle spiral given the distance P between the spiral branches. The distances between the spiral branches are the same. More precisely, the distances of intersection points along a line through the vertices are the same as the length P. The six centers of the spiral will be the six vertices of a regular hexagon with length exactly one-sixth of our length P. To work out this sixth, we will use Taylor's theorem to divide our length P into six equal parts. So to start, we will draw a diagonal line of any angle from the left side of our given length P. Now we are going to scribe six equal measurements on the diagonal line. Then we will join the sixth point to the right end of our line segment P and from now on we will draw parallel segments to the previous junction as shown here in the video through successive marks previously drawn. Our parallel point two Finally, our last parallel point, 1. So now we are going to name one of the 6, which will be the length of one side of our hexagon. P over 6. In the center of the drawing, we are going to mark the first center. From this center point, we will draw a horizontal line to the right, as can be seen here. Now we set our compass to the length 1 6th of P and we will transport this length onto the horizontal line starting at our first center. Now we are going to draw an equilateral triangle using this length 1 6th of P. With our compass centered on point 1 we scribe an arc to the left which cuts our horizontal line at point which will be the second center and we will continue the arc above as shown. So now with our compass set on the second center we will scribe another arc to the right until it cuts our previously drawn arc at point zero. This point is going to be the center point of the circumference we are going to circumscribe our hexagon. To continue, setting our compass on point 1, we will scribe an arc to cut the circle, which will be the next vertices of our hexagon. Now setting our compass on point 2, we will scribe another arc, which will be the fourth vertices of the hexagon. So now we continue marking our vertices by setting the compass on the previous vertex as shown here. And finally we mark the last vertex, which we will call these points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 as shown here in the video. So now we are going to draw and prolongate the six sides of the hexagon in the direction from point 6 to 5. Again we prolongate from 5 to 4.
Again, we'll prolongate from four to three. Here again, we prolongate from three to two. And again, from two to one. And finally, in the direction one to six, as shown here. Here I remind you that the directions of these prolongations are very important. Otherwise, you will not be able to draw the spiral properly. So now finally we are ready to draw the spiral with our compass centered on point 1 and length 1, 6. We scribe an arc to the left until it cuts the adjacent prolongation at point A. As can be seen here. Now to continue with our compass set on point 2 and length 2A. We scribe an arc down until it cuts the prolongation at point B. Now continuing with our compass set on point 3 and length 3B. We scribe an arc to the right until it cuts the following prolongation at point C. Now continuing again with our compass centered on point 4 and length 4C, we scribe an arc until it cuts the prolongation at point D. Continuing this process with our compass centered on point 5 and set to the length 5D, we scribe an arc until it cuts the following prolongation at point E. Again, with our compass set on point 6 and length 6E, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts the following prolongation at point F. Here you can see the spiral forming from six separate circle arcs and the distance from point 6 to F is equal to our given length P. In the continuation with our compass centered on point 1 and length 1F we continue to the cuts the horizontal line. So let me remind you to be very careful when setting the compass lengths so as to keep the spiral branches at equal distance P. The typical errors in these exercises are not drawing the polygon correctly, setting our compass on the incorrect centers, or wrong direction with the prolongations, etc. So continuation with our compass set on point 2 and length 2G. So now we have our six point center circle spiral given the distance P between branches.